Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing today? I thought today we'd run a short tutorial on how to move Nexus Mod Manager from one drive to another because it's something I've got to do and I thought I'd share with you how we go about doing that. I thought, I thought uh, it might be appreciated so uh, yeah let's, uh, let's go on and, and do that. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving um, Nexus Mod Manager, my install is here and is the reason I'm moving it is because it is 28.6 gigabytes in size and I could do with the space back on the drive that I run Skyrim from. We're going to be copying it from here to another drive, my S drive. And all you're going to do to start this process off is simply right click, drag, release and copy here. Do not move, do copy. I've already done this to speed this video up so you'll see if I go in here we've got uh, an exact copy of everything that is here. All of the mods and everything. Right, the next step of this process is we are going to right click the uh, Windows icon, select run, and we're going to run regedit. This will start usually looking like this. You can expand HQ local machine, software, if you scroll down, you will find Nexus Mod Manager. If you go and click on Skyrim, you'll see we've got two separate entries in here. We're going to right click each one of these and modify them. Just change the paths to the new paths that we have installed. So you'll notice that I've added another folder down just to keep things tidy. Press enter when you've finished changing that, change the other one in exactly the same way. There we are. Okay that. And then just close this. Done. Now the only other thing you need to change is your shortcut to Nexus Mod Manager. Uh, don't worry about my mini system. You'll probably have this shortcut on your desktop instead. Uh, this is just a desktop plugin that I've got. So right click your icon, select properties. On the shortcut tab you want to change the location here as well. Skyrim tools and here as well S drive Skyrim tools. Hit OK and as a test what we're going to do now is you're going to go up a level do not delete this folder just yet, just in case you've done something wrong and you, you've got to backtrack. I'm just going to stick an underscore in there so that uh, the name's changed. So you know you're definitely not running anything from that folder when you click Nexus Mod Manager. Manager will start. We have to give this a couple of seconds. It's worth noting that this is also a method you can use to back up Nexus Mod Manager. If you just copy that whole folder, you'll uh, you'll find it again. And there we are. Sometimes what will happen is that it will want to rediscover all of your games again. Um, just go through the process as you would do for any other new Nexus Mod Manager installation. And it will ask you to set the paths, but they should be right because we've changed them in the registry. So it should just be a matter of hitting OK. And you'll find that you've got all of your mods ready to go. Uh, ready to pull in and out of your um, your mod list as you've always always have done, and that's it. It really is that simple. And what you can do now is you can go back and you can delete this folder because you don't need it anymore and it's not doing anything. Done. Twenty eight gig back on that on that drive now, and that's moving Nexus Mod Manager. I hope that's been useful guys. Um, I haven't seen many other videos out there so about doing this so I, I thought this might help. Um, yeah, I hope it works for you. If not, or if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below the video and uh, have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye bye.